Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. Let's review now some case study scenarios in your clinical practice and your clinical experience. Um, let's talk a little bit about how you have incorporated cetuximab in combination perhaps with platinum 5-FU in the HPV positive setting and then let's talk about the HPV negative setting thereafter. So the incorporation of cetuximab has been in my practice primarily in the current metastatic setting for, for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a population that we see as a medical oncologist and second because uh, I truly believe that um, with the extreme data, that triplet regimen is not only effective, but for patients who are good candidates, the best treatment that we can offer. Again, let me reiterate the efficacy data from the extreme trial. We have a study that combined platinum 5-FU and added uh, cetuximab. We saw an improvement in overall survival, progression-free survival, and response rate. And to me, I think that our, the best chance for a meaningful efficacy in these patients is the first time that we see them with their recurrent metastatic disease. And my philosophy is to try and apply the best regimen that we have. Now, extreme may not be applicable to everybody. Um, it is a triplet regimen. It does involve a platinum. It does involve another cytotoxic. 5-FU specifically, and so there are toxicities certainly associated with it. Uh, well, I pick patients that are fairly vigorous, that have a good performance status, and especially patients who have disease that's causing symptoms because I know that that's the most effective regimen that I can employ that's going to induce a response rate. Um, and for those regimens, for those patients, Extreme has been my first choice uh, regimen. In fact, irrespective of HPV status, but certainly in the HPV positive patients who do, let's remember, tend to be younger. They tend to have fewer comorbidities because these are patients usually that haven't smoked and haven't had excessive alcohol intake. And so for the HPV positive patients with recurrent metastatic disease, the extreme regimen has been quite helpful. Let's take it a step back and talk about patients with, that present to us with locally advanced disease. Here, Cetuximab also is a quite useful agent. And again, perhaps not necessarily differentiating between HPV positive and HPV negative. I'll get back to that in just a minute. But again, we have uh, phase three, level one evidence that the addition of cetuximab to radiation is in fact beneficial. And let's keep in mind the clinical scenario or phenotype that involves HPV positivity, younger patients, fairly active, vigorous patients, few comorbidities, and here is a situation where we're going to cure the majority of patients. In fact, it, there's clear evidence that we cure 70% or more of HPV positive patients, and so perhaps a patient population where the long-term toxicities are going to be quite significant and relevant because these patients are going to live for 20, 30 years. And a regimen of cetuximab radiation may offer a lower toxicity rate and a better long-term uh, quality of life than some of the other regimens that we have in our armamentarium. So although there doesn't seem to be a difference in efficacy between HPV positivity and HPV negative patients, but the better tolerability may, may be something that we can use to our advantage.